Hi, welcome or welcome back to Journey Into Stories. Today, I decided to go out into the wilderness and read Camp Slasher by Dan Padavona. Hope I said his name right. Really excited to read this book. I've heard a lot of wonderful things about it. If you go into the woods today, you're in for a big surprise. And I'm just really excited. We got some pizza. We found some pizza on the way and a drink. And I'm just going to start reading. I uh, hope I don't run into any scary things out here. I get scared camping and we're out in the wild. So let's see how this goes. Thank you for tuning in to the channel and welcome or welcome back. Okay, Camp Slasher. Um, I'm making it through this book really quickly. I'm already on page 83 and I think there's a little over 200 pages, something like that. So it's going really fast. I love it so far. It's amazing. Um, I'm really enjoying it. But I thought I would do a, a spooky tag that I found on YouTube. I couldn't find who created it, but um, kudos to whoever created it. And um, if any of you want to do this tag at some point, I tag you. Go, go for it. But number one, favorite horror or Halloween theme song? Um, I would say the uh, theme song to Halloween, the movie. I, I love that, but also uh, Monster Mash. I don't know who does that, but I like those two. Number two, name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or in an abandoned building. Uh, probably a crazed killer, and I say that because of what I'm reading, but 
I, I would say somebody that's out for blood, I wouldn't want to run into. Number three, have you ever played with a Ouija board? Yes, when I was a little kid, um, probably grade school, and I, asked, I actually asked for one a couple of years ago for Christmas from my husband, and then I was too scared to uh, play it. And that's not like me, but it had all these rules, don't do it at home, and all this stuff. So uh, I had my husband turn it into a really neat Halloween piece um, of decor. So number four, favorite horror monster or villain? I, I like a lot. I um, would probably say... Frankenstein, I, I, I really loved watching growing up as a kid, but also um, I'm a huge fan of Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees, and uh, so I would also say them. Number five, the creepiest thing that's ever happened while you were alone. Mm. I don't, I can't really recall of, well... There was this time that we, our previous home, we were selling it. And my husband had moved to a different city um, to start his new job. And I had our kids still in the other state um, trying to sell the house. And I don't know where this walkie-talkie came from. I like a scanner or something I don't know but we heard voices somehow and I hid the kids and me in a closet and I grabbed a knife and I was I had no idea where it was coming from and I called my husband terrified like there's somebody in the house and I you know I, I guess I should have called 911 but actually it was from a scanner and now we laugh about it but it was kind of scary at the time, and being in charge as a protector of our kids, that, that was scary, I would say. Okay, number six. If you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? Yes, I would love that. Love, love, love. I hope to uh, stay in Lizzie Borden's like bed and breakfast at some point. I would love that. I, I would really love to stay in a haunted house or something. Okay. Number seven, are you superstitious? I don't, I don't think so. Number eight, do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? No. No, I've never seen anything. Number nine, do you prefer gore or thrillers? I would say both. I'm some body gore uh, type things can kind of gross me out, but I, I would say both. Number 10, do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? No, which means they probably exist, but no. Number 11, ever made a potion of any sort? No. Gosh, I'm kind of boring, I guess. No, no portion, potions. Number 12, do you get scared easily? I love to be scared, as long as it's nothing relating to my family, real life uh, events in the world, but uh, scary movies and scary books and true crime, all of that, I, I love. I love to listen and watch all that stuff. But if it's real life stuff, I don't like to be scared about real life things. Uh, 13, have you ever played but Bloody Mary? Yes, I was a good uh, Catholic little girl that went to Catholic school and we, we did play Bloody Mary. No, nothing happened. Number 14, do you believe in demons, the devil? No, no, I, well, I, I'll say that I think some people aren't very good, <laughs> but 
I mean, I, I guess, it, you know, some, some people are not nice, but no. Number 15, you're home alone, but you hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? Well, I, I called my husband when, when this happened before with the voices that we heard. Uh, I, w I would probably investigate or uh, just go to sleep. I, no, I, I would investigate. I, I would see what the footsteps are. I uh, am blessed. My, my Well, this is going to come out wrong. My husband travels a lot. That I, I don't enjoy, but... I do have uh, two dogs that are pretty noisy, so they, they would probably investigate and get to there before I even would. So, And we have cameras that I could look and see what's going on with our alarm. Okay, let's see. 16, if you got trapped in one scary movie, which would you choose? Halloween. I love the Halloween movies the franchise okay 17 if you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life what would you be I, do, I don't dress up but I do have a lot of Halloween sweatshirts that I love and t-shirts I, I love hocus pocus I love all my Disney Halloween stuff but I, I would I wouldn't say a costume that I would dress up as. Number 18, would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Yes, yes I would. Number, as long as um, it was open and I didn't trespass, but yes, I would. Number 19, in a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? Probably a machete. <laughs> just, I, I don't know, that just popped in my head first. Number 20, would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick-or-treating? Well, trick-or-treating, you get fun candy. So I, I've never said no to candy, but probably if it was a good Halloween party with uh, scary movies and things like that, I would pick the party. Number 21, you're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic? the smart one or the killer. I would probably be the first to die because when I used to get scared or whatever, I tend to curl up and freeze. So I probably wouldn't make it through the movie. Number 22, do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? No. Um, in fact, when I'm having trouble sleeping at night, it's nothing for me to not put my headphones on and turn on a scary horror type movie off of um, Shudder, or I just love to listen to true crime or um, true scary stories. I can listen to two, three, four hours of that at night, and it puts me to sleep like a good bedtime, a good bedtime story. So I don't have to watch anything happy to be okay to sleep. 23, was watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters, the person with the eyes covered the whole time, or the person who falls asleep? I do fall asleep a lot during movies, but I, I would say none of these. I just enjoy the movie for the movie itself. Number 24, are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring? Probably both. I, I would say both. Number 25, favorite scary book? There's a lot, a lot of them. Um, the one that comes to mind would be It by Stephen King. Um, I, I do have a, I, I am terrified of clowns. I, I do not enjoy clowns. And um, I, I would probably say it, but um, it doesn't really scare me, but um, Pennywise does, I guess, the most. So that's what I would say. Number 26, how old were you when you saw your first horror movie? Grade school, um, and I can't 
I know I watched Friday the 13th because they were a big deal to me. We spent all summer, every summer at a local lake my grandparents lived at. And uh, so Friday the 13th was a big deal to me. Like I said, I love Halloween movies. But the one that I remember actually watching is um, Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one. I remember my mom and dad and my brother went over to a neighbor's house to play cards, and my brother went over to play with their little kid, and it was a big deal. I stayed home. It was just right across the street, but I told my mom and dad, no, I want to stay home knowing that uh, Nightmare on Elm Street was going to be shown that night on whatever cable channel we had. And I, I specifically remember watching Nightmare on Elm Street. And I was young, uh, you know, grade school, I would say. I don't know exact, exactly what age. Number 27, what was your first Halloween costume? I really don't remember, but growing up in the 70s, you know, you had those really safe costumes that you couldn't see out of the mask and uh, everything, you, you get too close to a fire and you'd probably go up in flames, so something like that. I know I was uh, Mickey Mouse in one of my pictures, and... You know, I'll go with Mickey Mouse. That, that sounds good. Okay, number 28. What are you going to be for Halloween this year? I don't dress up, but I do have, sorry guys. I do have a lot of um, Halloween outfits. You know, sweatshirts, t-shirts. And they all pretty much are Disney related because I'm a huge Disney fan. Love, love, love. And this is the last question. Question 29. If you could have a spooky Halloween pet, a black cat, owl, bat, rat, wolf, what would you pick? I would pick a black cat. Um, we are very blessed to have five beautiful, beautiful uh, fur grandbabies. And growing up, my family always had dogs, but now with the grandbabies, uh, we have three cats and two dogs. And I love, love, love each of them, huge amounts. But um, one of the cats is a beautiful, beautiful uh, all black cat. And she always gets complimented on how gorgeous her coloring is. So I would go with uh, our little bit, the, the little black cat. Um, so, yeah. So there's the tag. I thought I would add to this. And I'm going to keep on reading. Uh, I've heard some spooky sounds around, so I don't know who's walking through the woods. But hopefully it's not a, a slasher killer. But... I, I am loving this book so far. Now, I'm not even halfway through, but I love it. I would rate it five stars. And it's very fast-paced. You know, it's shorter on the pages and just spaced nicely. And it's just, it's going really, really fast. And I plan on getting it all done tonight and tomorrow morning you know, and let you guys know what I think, but I'm going to keep on reading, and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right.
Hi guys, uh, finished the book, Camp Slasher. I uh, gave it five stars. I enjoyed all of the reading experience that this book gave me. Um, I'm just gonna read the jacket. We're blowing away. It's really windy and it rained last night, but we're getting ready to pack up, so my tent's gonna blow away with us. All right, one of the most exciting writers to burst upon the scene in quite some time. Lost in the dark woods, stalked and butchered, head severed and tossed into the bushes, she is the first to die. The body count will grow. Slasher horror in the vein of Friday the 13th and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. A group of young counselors set out to rebuild the vacant Camp Black Bear, but a bloodthirsty killer stalks the woods. Now two counselors must survive the night in the forest. The killer is hunting them. He won't stop until they are dead and the nearest town is 10 miles away. Footsteps in the dark, the killer is coming. Classic slasher horror that will leave fans of Stephen King, Friday the 13th, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre breathless. Fans of true slasher horror should get to know Camp Slasher. This was an excellent book. If you uh, like slashers, there was no end to the body count with this book. Um, and there were parts that were pretty scary too. I loved it. I loved camping and reading it, getting out and doing the thing. And I hope whatever you're doing, you're being kind to yourself and each other. And I hope you're reading something amazing. Till the next video. And also I wanna thank you for coming along with me on this journey. And uh, have a great day and see you next time. Bye guys. Thanks, bye. Thank you.